Hello, hi everybody. All right, today is day four of my 40 day, 40 Facebook Live videos in 40 days. So, uh, today's topic is how to make more money by investing in real estate. And the first example that I want to give you involves being a regular agent, okay? I'm the broker for Whitney Buys Houses. Oh, by the way, my name is Whitney Nicely, in case you're not familiar or kind of new here. Um, okay, so I, I'm a broker, and that means I used to be a little baby agent. I used to be a new agent, and I've actually listed two houses in my life. I uh, only sold the first one. The second one just fell apart in my hands. It was a disaster. On my first listing, I made like 1200 bucks, and then I split it with my broker. Like, peanuts, all right? Like, not fantastic at all. So, that didn't deter me. I got my second listing, and then it fell apart in my hands, and I thought, well, crap, I'm never going to make any money. I've got to figure out a different way. So, I went to school, I learned how to do lease options, and it was about the third house that I really tried to get involved in. I didn't list it. I bought it with a lease option. I got it under contract with a lease option. And I, I got the contract signed on February 28th. By the end of March, I had somebody that wanted to do a lease option with me. They were going to rent the property for two months. Uh, I'm sorry, they were going to rent the property until their house in Chicago sold. Whether it was two months, six months, or two years, they were going to pay me a thousand bucks a month. And they were going to give me, I can't remember, maybe five thousand to move into it. But we, I found them at the end of the March. At the beginning of April, they called and said, hey, turns out we're going to close on our house in Chicago like the first to the middle of May. And they did. All right. Sometimes everything doesn't line up. But on my very first deal with creative financing, with lease options, trying to do things the weird way, I had a house for $122,000 and I sold it for $135,000. They rented it from me for two months. They rented it for all of April and May so that they could go ahead and move their stuff on down to Tennessee into this new house. And I didn't have any payments on it until June. So I didn't ever have to make a payment on it because the middle of May, early to middle of May, they closed their house in Chicago. The next day they were in Tennessee. We closed this house. I made 13000 because I had it under contract for 122000 and they bought it from me for 135000 Okay, so there's 13000 that I made just on the difference. But they rented it for April and May, and I didn't have a payment to my sellers until June. So I got $1,000 for April and $1,000 for May. I made 15 one, two. $15,000 in like eight weeks because I did not list the house. If I had listed the house, maybe these people would have found it. Maybe they would have bought it. But best case scenario, I would have made like what? Six or seven percent. So I would have made like six or seven, maybe $8,000. So I doubled what I would have, would have made if I'd listed it. And even then, these people didn't have an agent. Maybe somebody else would have come through. Maybe they would have offered me more than 135 but their agent would have gotten paid also. So instead of making 8000 I would have split it and made 4000 That's even less money. But I was creative, and I had a plan. And I let these people move in, renting the house until they're sold. And it turned out it sold really fast. But I made $15,000 in eight weeks. And then three weeks later, I made another $8,000 on a similar situation. But guys, I, I don't know who's been telling you that a real estate license is the best and biggest way to make money in real estate because it's not. All right? And wholesaling. 
is just like listing just without a license. You have to hustle. You have to have a closing. You have to be talking to more sellers all the time in wholesaling and in listing. But in lease options, if those people hadn't bought that house from me, my payments were like 800 bucks a month. I was going to make $200 a month. If I did that once a month, by the end of the year, I was going to be making an extra $2,400 a month if I only made $200 a month off each house. And I didn't have to go to the bank. I didn't get the mortgage in my name. I didn't have to put any money down. Like, this is all totally possible, and it's totally possible in your area. You can find these deals. You can find these sellers who will let you, you know, take over their payments. Or if it's an empty house that they own free and clear, whether they inherited it or they paid it off and then they just stopped caring about it. Like, people are out there and they will work with you on these deals. They will. They will work with you on these deals. They will be glad that you came into their life. And once you find the sellers that this works for, and you find your market, you find your niche, you find your rhythm, whoo, baby, you will be unstoppable. You will be unstoppable. You will be absolutely amazing. You will be a big fish in a small pond. You will leapfrog all of the old investors that have been doing this forever. You will leapfrog all of the big guys that have got, you know, hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars that they can spend marketing every month. You will become the go-to person in your area and you will be able to make more money than you ever thought possible. Because the money isn't in having a license. The money is in that monthly income that comes from every house that you can buy and keep. All right? If you made $500 a month between what you owe your seller for the payment and what your tenant buyer will pay you, if there's a $500 difference there and you do 10 a year at $500 a pop, that's an extra $5,000 every month into your HIP National Bank. That's your pocket. All right? Tell me, what would you do with an extra five grand a month that you don't have to clock in for? It's just $5,000 that just comes in because you did this deal last year. And that's, that's if you do 10 a year. There's 12 months in the year. So that's not even doing one deal a month. If you do this for two years straight and you, you create a $500 a month spread and you have 20 houses, that's $10,000 a month that you could be bringing in from investing in real estate and you got no money down in these deals. Nobody has pulled your credit. That is where the money is made. The money is made on the monthly income, not on the hustling, not on chasing the clear to close, not on any of that other stuff, not on flipping. The money, the freedom, the generational wealth, all of that, and it only takes two years. It, in that example, if you do one house a month and you make $500 off the difference of what you owe and what your uh, tenant buyer is paying you, that's two years to $10,000 months, only doing one deal a month. If you did two deals a month, in less than a year, you'd be at ten grand a month. Part-time. So... The money is made investing in real estate. And I can help you get there. I can help you learn how to structure these lease options, learn how to talk to these sellers, to find the right sellers that are going to line up and do what you want them to do instead of you trying to please them. It's totally different. I'll help you as much as I can. I'll be here for you every step of the way.
but you have to take that leap of faith and say, yes, Whitney, I'm ready. Let's do this. I'm excited and I want to get started now. So if you have any questions, y'all send me a message or go to WhitneyNicely.com and let me know that you're in. We're going to get started. We're going to start seeing those $10,000 months and it's going to be super fun and amazing because it's totally possible. You can do it. I know you can do it. I did it. I'm not that amazing. You can do this too. All right, let me know if you have any questions. I've been in it for three years. Can you work for three years, three more years, to set yourself up for the next 30, the next 60, the next generation? Are you willing to put the time and the effort and the energy in for the next two to three years to get your financial freedom? Because it's totally possible. And I'm here to help you. Let me know if you have any questions. Go to WhitneyNicely.com. Book a call with me. Um, I've got some books. I've got some programs. i got all sorts of stuff out there. I would love to help you. So let me know how I can help you. Bye, y'all. I'll be back tomorrow with day five of my 40-day uh, Facebook Live challenge. See you later.